Welcome to Mountain West IRA or MW IRA Educational Podcast. Today we're going to be speaking about what is a traditional IRA. Well, before we begin, please see below for our disclaimer. So what is a traditional IRA? Well, a traditional IRA is a tax deferred retirement account where contributions and earnings are only taxed when you go to distribute those funds at retirement age. Now, contributions may be fully or partially deductible, as well as many individuals, when they're at retirement age, they're at a lower tax bracket. So when they go to distribute, those earnings are generally taxed at a lower tax rate. And who is eligible to contribute to a traditional IRA? Well, prior to 2020, you had to be 70 and a half. You had to open an account before you were the age of 70 and a half to contribute to a traditional IRA. Now with that CARES Act in place as of January 1st, 2020, there is no age limit. As long as you have taxable compensation for those contributions, you can contribute at any age. Now, with a traditional IRA, you are required to start taking distributions from that account when you hit retirement age. This age is 72. Um, prior to the CARES Act in 2020, it was 70 and a half. So when you hit 72, you will be required to take what's called RMDs, so Required Minimum Distributions. This is calculated um, on a yearly basis. The IRS updates a uniform lifetime table, which is used to calculate the um, RMD and what is due. Um, it goes off of your age and what your account value is at the end of the previous year. So if you're looking for immediate tax deductions, on your investments to grow tax deferred and only pay those taxes when you go to distribute those funds, then a traditional account may be what you're looking for. Well, join us next time when we talk about what is a Roth IRA and the differences between the traditional and 